Please tell us, did our ancestors who practiced magic saw numbers as important? Yes, of course, and in every tradition. Whatever kind of magic our ancestors practiced, whatever tradition, numbers were always considered important, in one way or another, in this or that meaning, in this or that application. All things are numbers, as Pythagoras once said. And our whole life, everything we do, can be expressed in numbers and figures. Accordingly, each number has a ritual meaning in this or that tradition. In some traditions it is necessary to repeat spells or prayers for a certain amount of time. In some traditions it is necessary to perform ritual actions a certain number of times. In some traditions it is necessary to create spells according to a certain rhythm, a certain numerical sequence, that is somehow ritually and traditionally associated with the magic of that particular tradition. The number attunes the consciousness to a specific frequency, the frequency at which your source of energy informational force works, giving you either knowledge or energy, or both. Therefore, the correct use of numerical combinations, vibrations, repetitions, and the like, is the essential key to entering these energy informational spaces through which your force connects with you and you draw power. It's just a sort of ritual rule. It is as if you have a safe with a combination lock and you have to enter the right combination, perhaps a certain number of times or according to certain rules, and then the safe opens. The same principle applies here. So your assumption is correct, colleague Spencer.